You know what, guys? The other day, I was at work, and my wife called me because she was looking for something that she needed for her work. And she assumed that I knew where it was. I told her I didn't, and she took it upon herself to start going through my stuff because I'm responsible for where she keeps her items, apparently. So she went under my desk, which is a whole other mess of items that I have stored. Just completely ridiculous in its own right. And then she got upset because of how much stuff I had rammed under there. And her message to me was, I'm a hoarder. I think I would have preferred it if she actually called me a whore. Because in reality, I think the truth hurts more than words sometimes. This is my VHS collection that I know of and that I remember where I put. So, I think I need to start turning some things down. I brought this out. Uh, I want stuff falling all over this place. I haven't looked in these boxes uh, probably for years since I had them stored. Um, so, three, four boxes. I don't know what's in them. I haven't looked. I haven't delved into them. I'm just going to leave that on camera, probably to surprise myself. The rest of the items I've had scattered in this room. Um, so without further ado, let's go through this pile and uh, see what I should keep and not keep. The first one being this, dust. Fucking animal. Uh, the first one, I grabbed it, and well, one, I like the movie Night of the Living Dead. Two, Blockbuster Classic. I love anything that says Blockbuster on it, just because the, the chain is defunct anymore, but I actually did work at a Blockbuster uh, when I was a teenager for two years, three years, I don't remember. Anyway, uh, I like that one. I like the movie. Um... I can't even see when I came out. I've got the glare of the light in my eyes. Anyway, uh, fantastic cover. This one I'm keeping. I don't know where I'm going to put the stuff. Next is Back to the Future. Obvious classic that you should have in your collection. And I like it. When I do pick these up, I always try to make sure that the label's not, uh, you don't have the glue coming through it. So back to the future. Aliens Special Edition. I don't know what makes it special, but I like the movie Aliens. I actually like Aliens better than Alien. Uh, probably for the Bill Paxton factor. Uh, the weapon we was better. The storytelling was better, I thought. Um, yeah. Even though I couldn't stand the stupid little kid in it, and I wish he died. The classic movie from the 80s, I believe, 80, hmm, what was this made? 82, sorry. Uh, Fast Times at Ridgemont High. Early childhood, uh, early, uh, I guess, versions of these actors, uh, Judge Reinhold, Jennifer Jason Leigh, Sean Penn, Phoebe Cates, the infamous uh, Phoebe Cates topless scene at the swimming pool. Classic that you should have in your collection. I love these guys uh, for mainly, for mainly uh, when I saw this special the first time, The Last Waltz. It's the uh, Martin Scorsese uh movie documentary about the last performance of the band and all the special uh, guests they had 
Uh, they played at, um, which I think was at the first place that they ever performed at. I can't remember where it is. Anyway. A classic, if you're a TV fan of the series, MASH. Uh, the movie is, this came out in 1970. It's, to me, I found this a lot more rougher and rawer than the TV show, but still liked it. And again, as I'm going through these, take a look at the actual artwork. A part of that is the factor for collecting some of these. Um, 95% I do like everything that I have in here. Maybe the other 5% might just be because it is a cool artwork. I'll try and point those ones out. Saw this one as a kid. Uh, this one, Special Effects. Academy Award, I think, for uh, Special Effects. But uh, American World from London. Great movie. The start of that movie is awesome. Um, I believe the two main guys in it were backpacking through Scotland, Ireland. The Welsh Moors, sorry. Um, and then they get attacked by a werewolf and the story goes on from there. This movie I saw as a kid and loved it for one reason. Uh, the weapon that this person threw uh, always came back to him. No, it's not uh, Crocodile Dundee. Uh, this is Crawl. It's actually a... Uh, I think there was an NES video game on this. I don't remember if that's 100%. But there is a video game. Yeah, I just I just loved it for some reason. This five star weapon where uh, the blades would come out, he could throw it, and it would just come right back. Big Jim Henson fan. This is my sealed copy of the Dark Crystal. Um, you guys can check it out on Netflix. Um, Dark Crystal came out originally in a lot of good these glasses do me. Shit. 94? Yeah, 1994. Uh, Netflix has done a continuation of the story after the fact of this movie. I don't know how many years in the future it takes place past it, but um, uh, if you're a Jim Hansen fan, this movie is fantastic. A uh, sealed copy of another one of my favorite movies, North by Northwest. A little bit of uh, Hitchcockian action. Great thriller. Gary Grant, if you're a fan of him. Another classic movie from my childhood, Conan the Barbarian. Uh, what can there be said about that one? Another new label. Another movie I watched as a kid, and uh, well, one I liked the vampire aspect of it, but the soundtrack of this movie I really love. Classic movie from that time period. And then 1973, depicting uh, and this one's from George Lucas actually. Uh, one late summer night in 1962, and everything that took place, American Graffiti. Another timepiece movie. Let's uh, this pile over. Movie I watched as a kid. And actually, I picked this up uh, this year. Uh, the Last Unicorn. I'm not that good at describing everything that takes place in these movies, so just look at the artwork and shut up. Ghostbusters. Still a good label. A TV series I watched as a kid and loved it. Still a big fan of it. Um, thought the animation was fantastic. The uh, There's actually brief nudity in this. 
uh, Gotcha Man, otherwise known as uh, North America G Force. Steve McQueen movie, one of his favorites, or sorry, one of my favorites, but I think one of his more popular ones, uh, known mostly, memorably, for uh, one of the greatest car chases in movie history. Bullet. Classic movie of uh, skipping high school, great soundtrack, just a fun movie. In general, Ferris Bueller's Day Off. I gotta try and remember. I think I got some doubles in here. I should probably, as I come across them, pull them out. TV series I watched as a kid. Um, interesting to go back and see what it's actually like. But uh, a little bit of Battlestar Galactica. I hope these uh, are these labels coming out okay. Uh, I think I saw this one. No, this was a rental. And I watched it just recently last year. No, earlier this year. Very early. Uh, more so out of nostalgia. It does not hold up. That was a bad movie. But, one of the best movies in the franchise uh, and not to mention the best artwork, in my opinion. Empire Strikes Back. This one I watched back in the day when I was a really big wrestling fan. Uh, and if you're into wrestling and haven't seen it yet, you should. Uh, this is the um, uh, the documentary on uh, Bret Hart and how he got screwed over by Vince McMahon. Hitman Heart Wrestling with Shadows. And what I like about this one is it actually came with this book, which I've never seen before. And I don't remember what's in there. Uh, I don't know how well that's going to come across, but scenes from, you know, inside the Heart House, the family, in the ring, talking to his, you know, at that point now it's his ex wife. The infamous scene when he got spit on, or when he spit on uh, McMahon. So, um, yeah, hard to find with that book. Come on, fucking over now. Another wrestling one. This one's really good too, Beyond the Mat. Uh, behind the scenes, um, Mick Foley, Jake the Snake, Terry Funk. And it takes a look from uh, their perspective in the wrestling world. Movie that's coming out. I guess it's going to be in the new year now. But the, uh, the sequel to this one, Top Gun. Collector's Edition, a great movie by Spielberg. Um, if you're a Richard Dreyfuss fan, he has a great performance. Close Encounters of the Third Kind, Collector's Edition. Don't ask me what makes it a Collector's Edition, I don't remember. And if you're a National Lampoon fan or a Chevy Chase fan, you need to have this in your collection. National Lampoon's Family Vacation, or Vacation. I don't know. Where am I start pulling the stuff? Uh, Star Wars Trilogy. This one is... So it comes like that, and then it's got the pop-open sleeve. Uh, two of them, actually. So you don't know it. And then... The classic artwork. Oops.
Now, I, got, I know I have more than one uh, Star Wars thing, but I grabbed this one just for the packaging alone. Oh. Don't fall. All right. Uh, office space. I think we can all relate to this movie. Uh, if you work in an office environment, you know what it's like. Uh, this movie says it all. And a great soundtrack. We saw Aliens. Here is Alien. Uh, if you're a Star Trek fan, this is the uh, pilot episode uh, with the original captain in it, Captain Pike. Captain Christopher Pike. But love that artwork alone. And then because I liked the Wrath of Khan, this is the first episode of... Uh, Ricardo Montalban, uh, Space Seed. So, and I had other options to grab more of these ones, but I didn't have the space for it. So just the first one and then Space Seed just because of uh, the Wrath of Khan movie. And then I'm a baseball fan. Well, you can see there's stuff in here to order from. 1992 World Series highlight when the Toronto Blue Jays versus the Atlanta Braves uh, where they won the World Series for the first time in franchise history. Here's my sealed copy of the same thing. Maybe I should just keep the sealed one. I don't know. I'm an idiot. Let's put the open one aside. Maybe I can. Maybe I'll sell that with some other Blue Jay stuff. Ugh. All right. What's this? Oh, love this as a kid. The Muppet movie. As I said, I'm a big Jim Henson fan. Uh, if you're a Muppet fan, you gotta have that. Saw this one as a kid. And I remember, saw it on TV. I remember it scaring the crap out of me. Uh, Salem's Lot, a uh, vampire movie. Really well done, actually. And this one is a, it's a double. Uh, actually, I think I saw this on TV because it was a miniseries uh, based on Stephen King. Um, really good. Check it out if you haven't seen that. Lord of the Rings fan. This is my clamshell version of the Lord of the Rings movie. Not the best movie, honestly, uh, but I appreciate what they did in terms of mixing in um, lifelike, real life people, but then animating them just to capture their movement. Here's my sealed blank Memorex 120. I can't believe I just said that. Here's my sealed Maxell GX Silver. Look at the artwork on these. Isn't it awesome? Idiot. These were the tapes I always bought as a kid. Sealed BASF six hours staple at my house. Here's my sealed uh, Saving Private Ryan. I don't want any comments about those sealed blank cassettes, guys. Saving Private Ryan, kick-ass movie. I remember I saw it in the theater. And the opening scene of them getting the shit beat out of them on the... Uh, uh, when they're trying to... Uh, uh, getting off the boats and coming onto the shore. And just they were just getting mowed down by uh, the German uh, machine guns and whatnot. Such a graphic scene. I'll, I'll never forget that. All right, well, let's get a box out of the way. Again, I honestly don't know what's in these boxes. I haven't looked at them since they were put away. VHS show. All right, well, Alien Legacy. I don't even know what this is. Really, Scott talks about recognizing his alien immediately from the scene. Oh, this is just like interviews. 
a behind the scenes look at the making of Alien. I guess that's why I grabbed it. I am an anime fan, as I've said. Here's my sealed copy of Pat Labor 2, Mobile Police. Oh, this was a good series to watch. Uh, Record of Lodos War, Chronicles of the Heroic Knight. A little bit of uh, DBZ action. I think these were actually my brothers, but I just took them. Uh, Dragon Ball Z, Bardock, the father of Goku, uncut. Dragon Ball Z, the movie, the tree of might. What the heck? Dragon Ball Z, the movie, the world's strongest. The price on this thing? $22 from Wildstar Video. Great. All right, next pile. Uh, my sealed copy of Blade Runner Director's Cut with original Walmart price sticker of 1863 on there. I think that's why I grabbed it first off. Well, I like the movie, but it had the price sticker on it. Dawn of the Dead. Enough said about that. Excellent cover. Another. Well, a sealed copy, but another movie of uh, one of my favorite directors. Not to mention a great movie in general, Rear Window. Movie in general, Rear Window. Uh, another classic horror movie, Sam Raimi, Evil Dead. I like this. This artwork is actually different than the standard one. This is more of... Um, uh, this is like the heart, sort of like the, I call it the Harlequin front cover. Saw this on TV as a kid. Um, really spooked me out for some reason. This, I don't believe, is a version that I saw. Or it may be. 1962, Day of the Triffids. Uh, there's a meteorite that goes across the sky. Everyone looks at it. Everyone who does look at it and sees it uh, goes blind by the next day. And then there's the sparse population of humans that didn't see it. And uh, so they aren't blind, but there's these plants that have arrived and are attacking humans. Love this anime series on TV. Watched it after school all the time. Uh, this one is Robotech, the new generation. I uh, don't have a cover for this one, but this is Transformers War of the Dinobots. Five-part series of what they showed on TV. Well, this is apparently music. Uh, Fleetwood Mac the Dance. <clears throat> Empire Strikes Back Special Edition. <sighs> Bad movie. Can't say anything good about this one. I may get rid of it. Super Mario Brothers. I just have it because it's a uh, video game movie. Quote unquote. I have this one just because it's a badass movie in general. First Blood. Can't go wrong with that one. Don't fall. Okay. Some other ones. Uh, sticking with a couple more video game ones. Hot News and Insider's Guide to the N64, as well as Sega Game Tips video. These ones actually came like with, uh, you could order them after uh, you get boxes of cereal like Honeycrisp or Sugar Honeycomb, Sugar Crisp, Alphabets, you could send away for these. Another Lord of the Rings clamshell. So that's two. Let's keep track of that. Here is, I bought this one while I still worked at Blockbuster. This is my <clears throat> seven. The dust on this mother. <coughs> Deluxe Edition Bond, uh, double seven gift set, letterbox version. So you can see which one's on there. Uh, 
guess I can pull them out. Let's not mess up the order. Dr. No. Mushroom with Love. Goldfinger. Thunderball. You only live twice. Diamonds are forever. What is this one? Behind the scenes with Goldfinger and Thunderball. So that's not a movie. No. Oh my god. Come on. This set I remember was crazy expensive when it came out. It was $89. Imagine that. A stupid little kid working at Blockbuster paying $89 for this. And I think I've only watched them once and that was it. So I didn't want to wreck my, my VHS. Another cartoon I watch, Saturday mornings. And they don't make them like this. The only one I have, Dungeons and Dragons. Great. Uh... I haven't seen this actually, but I bought it because of the studio that makes it. This is Princess Mononoke. I wish you get around to watching that. Another one. This is actually the movie. Uh, Battlestar Galactica. All right, some more anime. Uh, I'll give you one guess why I picked that one up. Bubblegum Bubble Gum Crisis, Episode 4. Bubblegum Crisis, Episode 6. Bubblegum Crisis, Episode 2. I haven't watched this, I got no idea what it is, but I picked it up because the artwork reminds me of Robotech. Queen Esmeraldus. Ah, uh, great movie. Fun movie. Another Jim Henson movie. Labyrinth. And it's got Jennifer Connelly in it. Ooh, what's this one? This must be an episode. Yep, 47 minutes. The Long Patrol, another Battlestar Galactica. Got no idea what this one is, but it's got uh, Robotech type figures in it. Gasaraki, episode two. Gasaraki, episode one. Some more Bubblegum Crisis. Probably because she can't stay in her uniform. Number one. Number two. This one's not wearing a uniform. Number three. Ooh. If you're a horror movie fan, you have to have this. This is the 30th anniversary edition from the classic 1958 original. This is the remake, 1988, Steve McQueen version of Blob. What? Did I? I did show this already, right? Is that a double? Idiot. All right, I'll figure out which one's better. Still better not fall. All right, now we're getting to uncharted territory here. Okay. Again, this hasn't been opened in I don't know how many years. 
All right, I see a double off the top. First Brewers day off. Nice. Taxi driver, a little bit of Robert De Niro action. It's got the nice plastic on it still, the way it should be. A fun movie, not a great movie. I think I might get rid of that one. This was a great movie. Great soundtrack, fun movie. Pulp Fiction. Seeing some uh, VHS this year. 1993 playoffs, the Leaf versus the Blues. Game one, Leafs win. Hmm, this is my uh, dad's 40th birthday party. Oh yeah, by the way, these are what you bought back in the day. Uh, this is my brother's baptism. Let's uh, mix it up here. Great movie when it came out. I think it still holds up, in my opinion. A little bit of Jurassic Park. Well, there can be only one, and this is the director's cut of it. Highlander. Great gangster movie. Not even a gangster movie, what am I saying? Great crime drama movie, Heat. A little bit of Robert De Niro. <clears throat> De Niro, Pacino, Kilmer. I think this was the this was the first movie that Pacino and De Niro were in the same scene together. Do I remember that correctly? What's this? Final game of the World Series. My confirmation. Nineteen ninety three hockey playoffs, Toronto at St. Louis game six. Uh, my trip to British Columbia as a kid. Well, teen angst growing up. Uh, just finishing, I want to say they all just finished college and we're trying to find a job. Well, you buy it's a good soundtrack that came out during the grunge period. Uh, really good soundtrack, actually. Did I show this already? Lost Boys, I want to say I did. Here's a good one. Nice. Squeal like a pig, boy. Deliverance. Uh, some more playoffs. Please. These are the eight hour tapes. Super long play. Jays versus Braves, World Series, games one and two. Gretzky's final game and post game. Star Wars, show me the money. Well, John Hughes fan, so I don't care what my partner says. You have to have that in your collection. And by partner, I mean uh, podcast partner. Uh, this is sealed. Good movie. Blockbuster. Uh, it doesn't blow my mind, so I don't know why I have it. Rocky Horror Picture Show. Last game of the 93 World Series. Jays win. I was watching that at home. My parents were out. They won. Grabbed the car. Went, drove downtown and watched a bunch of people stop on top of the roof of someone else's car as they were driving it. Uh, needless to say, they got pissed off and... Uh, knock them off the car. Great movie. Seven. Not so great movie. Generation Star Trek. Great movie. Blues Brothers. Another great car chase in that one, too. 
Make some room, guys. Braveheart, saw that in the theater, great movie. Love this one. Uh, John Borsman, Excalibur. Did I? Two Jurassic Parks. That one's gone. Keep this one. Saw that in the theater. A little bit of Robin Hood action. Saw this in the theater when I was seeing every movie that came out. Full Monty. That's fun. I like British movies. This is a great, great movie. Usual Suspects. Star Trek Clues. Uh, my music lesson place band when we performed my brother's 10th birthday. Uh, my family Christmas. Simpsons two hour Halloween special along with Jay's Victory Parade. Uh, hmm. This was Iron Eagle and Robocop. It says World Series. Mission Impossible. One of my favorite movies. I've seen this at least, honestly, 15 times. Especially when it comes on TV. That's the widescreen version of The Abyss. Forrest Gump. Salon Theater. Great movie. What is this? My Best Friend's Wedding. That's going in the garbage. Uh, my brother, one of my brother's first communion. Oh. Come on. Man, Christ. Godfather collection. Classic. I have to have this. Unfortunately, it's not sealed, it's opened. Godfather. Godfather 2, 3. The worst one, obviously. I can, can't stand 3, actually. All right. See how many doubles I got here. Stupid. Come on. Wallace and Gromit. Once I saw that in the theater. But I don't think I did. Well, one of the best wrestling matches. It wasn't even a match, but it was still excellent. Definitely put wrestling back on the map. Uh, the Hell in the Cell with Mick Foley and this is the actual pay-per-view. Mick Foley and The Undertaker. Uh, ready, special, ready, steady, go. Special edition of the Beatles Live. Beatles help. Huh? The Beatles help. Different cover. 
Coons and Mountain. The Beatles' first U.S. visit. Beatles' Hard Day's Night. What are these, actually? Just the songs, I guess. Oh, what the hell? Beatles Help, is that the same? All right. One of these got, one of these have to go. That's got the worst cover, so it stays. Sealed TV's Best Adventures of Superman. Another one. Another one? Is that the same? Okay. Okay, three different ones. Godzilla and Mothra, the battle for Earth. Here we go. Sealed uh, Lord of the Rings Fellowship of the Ring. Surprise it. I got more Lord of the Rings on DVD than anything else. <coughs> Blu ray, too. Hard Day's Night. No, nope, it's not a double. That is a double, but different cover, so I'll keep it. Uh, Clamshell, Beatles, Yellow Submarine. Well, as I said, a big Jim Henson fan. This is The Muppet Show in the TV series. This one's got Dinah Ross, Brooke Shields, Rudolph Nureyev. This one's got Liza Minnelli, Madeline Kahn, and Mimin Shantz. I think you remember that name. It's got Roy Rogers, Kenny Rogers, and Matt Davis. Steve Martin, Carol Burnett, Gilda Radner. Are the covers all the same? No, they're different, right? Yeah. Uh, Roger Moore, Edgar Bergen, Danny Kay. This one's still sealed. Uh, Harry Belafonte, Linda Ronstadt. A little bit of John Denver action. Uh, James Colbert and Sylvester Stallone, Debbie Harry, who is a uh, lead singer of Blondie. I think I was supposed to give this for to someone. I think this is Haji's uh, uh, Turtles coming out of their shell. Live action. That's got to go. That's it. One more box. It's freaking, freaking nonsense. All right, get over here. Let's see if I'm tired of this. Bugs Bunny Wacky Adventures. Eight fully animated cartoons. Uh, a little bit of Three Stooges action. Ants in the Pantry and other nooks. There we go. Another classic movie you have to have. Airplane 2, the sequel. I remember I rented, that was rented actually for me. I think it was rented on Laserdisc. Well, no, that's a double because the other one was sealed, right? Uh, clamshell. These are some Disney ones. Uh, Winnie the Pooh. Sword in the Stone. 
Scooby-Doo meets Batman. I don't know why I have that. The Great Muppet Caper. That's a good one. Uh, oh, well, there's another Dark Crystal. This one's Clamshell, though. So, uh, there's another one. Dark Crystal, Clamshell. <sighs> this one's still sealed. With a Kmart price tag of $15.99. Sleeping Beauty. The Tigger Movie. You got out bad in your collection. Surprise. I only have one. And then uh, Robin Hood. And I think I think that's it, guys. Uh, like I said, these are the ones that I know of. And um, well. Oh. Oh. At least we got to eliminate um, five. There you go. Now my wife can't call me a hoarder anymore. I actually got rid of five things. Hoarders don't do that. We'll see you guys next time.